everyone, or should I say, hi Sunshine Sparkle Faces, it's me, Mother Sparkle, so the queen is back. Wow, that felt very, that felt very foreign to say, that was weird, I haven't said that in so long, but the title of this video, why did I stop? making YouTube videos, I guess, would be the title. I don't know. I've been doing YouTube for over 12 years now. That's a long time, you guys. You've seen my family grow. My little sisters aren't babies anymore. Like, one is 18, the other is 12. We're all growing so fast, and it's scary because I was just 19 when I started YouTube, so now I'm 30. I can't believe I said that. Last year, I had a crazy crisis. I was literally having a mental breakdown every single day. I'm crying. I can't believe I'm turning 30. It is insane. And some of you guys have been with me through my entire journey. When you're on a platform for so long, you kind of run out of ideas and that spark kind of just dies a little bit. That's a long time to be doing something every single week if you know what I mean. I feel like a lot of people might not understand because they're not sitting in front of a camera, they're not putting themselves out there. It's It can be very draining and for me, I felt like my journey, like it ended, you know? My peak on YouTube was my surgery videos, my traveling to India videos, that was my peak, was when there weren't a lot of transgender creators on YouTube, but Today, in this day and age, there are so, so many now. I just felt like my mission was completed. I felt like I needed to be on YouTube to share my story and everything that I was going through, surgery, emotionally, physically, everything. And I felt like I wasn't getting any more surgeries. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna document anything anymore. Like, what do I need to talk about? I've literally talked about everything. And so I just felt like I was becoming useless and that, I was no longer needed, which is kind of sad, but you know, I also wanted to focus on my life as well off of YouTube. And so that's why I kind of just stopped. The spark was gone after 12 years, 11 years, you know, it's just, it's hard to explain. And I hope you guys understand and you guys forgive me, but I know that it's important to update you guys once in a while because We've been through this journey and I'm not just going to leave you guys like on a cliff just waiting for who knows when. So this is an update video. I'm doing fine. I was recently in Thailand and in India. I got really, really sick when I got back from India. I have never been this sick in my entire life. I honestly thought I was dying. I was wiped out for a whole month. It was a disaster. I felt like I got some variant in India or something. It was just a hot mess, but I'm glad that I'm feeling so much better. Thank goodness it was a scary situation, but yes, I'm 30 years old now. It's crazy. <laughs> Can't believe it. Like I'm a full-fledged mother now. You know, I'm gonna be 40 in t 10 years. I don't know. My era right now is I'm focusing on skincare, anti-aging, and just living a healthy lifestyle. I think you'll get to that point when you hit 30. Because in your 20s, you're like, oh yeah, like I'm far from death. But as soon as you get closer to you know the older age, you tend to start to freak out. So that's kind of what's happening with me right now. Is I'm I'm spiraling, but I'm just focusing on my health most importantly. Regarding my transition, South Korea is still on my mind. However, I've been thinking a lot about it and I'm just like, is right now the right time? Should I just wait a little longer when I'm getting a little bit more older, my skin sags a little bit, and then we'll do the whole face situation? It's not like a big problem for me. I can honestly wait. I'm just scared that I might regret my decision and it becomes like a botched situation. And we don't want that. So I'm just really taking my time with South Korea and facial feminization surgery. There's a couple things I want to tweak, but for now I'm just sticking with Botox and getting rid of those fine lines. But yeah, <laughs> how is everyone doing? I can't believe that we're, time is flying by so fast. I was just 19, 24, 26, 28, and now I'm 
full-fledged 30 going on 31 this year it is it is insane I'm just out here being the best auntie possible I got no prospects I got no children I'm just really out here living my best life so that is all for today I don't want to overload you with any information and I hope to continue making more consistent content for you guys I'm just going to slowly um, get myself back in the groove of filming videos again for YouTube but I just don't want to make any promises don't be mad at me I'm, I'm trying my best all right so I hope you guys are doing well stay strong shine on I love you guys see you soon